Um, that that's pretty much it. Um, in a nutshell, I mean, I I don't want to go on and on except that this this kid, this kid Jared, that that everybody is just so sure is another Lee Harvey Oswald. I'm not so sure because we've seen a lot of evidence that this is how this is how these these people do their business politically. I mean, I, there had to have been at least a dozen video cameras in the Safeway parking lot. Why? Why haven't we seen any footage of that? They were standing in the wide open. I mean, we see video footage of, you know, small-time robberies all the time. You know? I guarantee there was video footage of that, of that incident. They're just not showing it to us. And there's a reason why they're not showing it. The other thing is that YouTube channel that they tried to say was was his, that's not even his channel because whoever has that channel is still posting comments after Jared was taken into custody, so that's not Jared's channel. The other thing is that video of some guy in a trash bag is disturbing. That wasn't even uploaded by the channel that they said was his. That was uploaded by a completely different channel. And to me, it looks like a person who's being tortured and forced to burn the American flag. That's what it looks like. Go and watch it again. It's that Class It Up 10 at YouTube. It's in the favorites. That's not who uploaded it. Somebody else uploaded it. I'm not sure who. It's in the, it's in the favorites of Class It Up 10. Why, why, why is that YouTube channel, why are they claiming that they're Jared. They're not. Why are they claiming that they are? And why do they have video of someone that looks like they've just been tortured tortured and forced to burn the American flag? Why do they have that as the only video in their favorites? There's something going on here, you guys. I don't know what it is. But I'm begging you to look into this. Um, there, there are other, other things as well. Um, there was a 911 call, um, and the caller said that the person that shot all those people ran away. So I think that, I think that they are going to do something to me. I think that, that either they are going to... I mean, I think they're already trying to get somebody else to um, to do something to me, like kill me or like persecute me until I kill myself. Um, but I think if things get really, I I don't know. I just have this feeling. I just have this feeling like they are going to try to get my son into a controlled environment and the only way for them to do that is to get me out of the picture because they, they want to continue their tests on my son and they, they need for him to be in a controlled social environment and if I don't facilitate that then they're going to look for someone else who will so um just please, um, just try it. Just try to see through the, through the crap, okay? And don't just believe what the media tells you. Because they don't, they don't really know what's going on. I mean, there are some people in the media that all they care about is you know, getting ahead. They don't care about really getting to the truth, but there are some people that do care about that. So, so you will find stories in the media that cover important things, so pay attention. 
I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn away from the mainstream media, but just, just be aware though that there's a lot of lies. The media is told lies. It's not like the media is in on the conspiracy. They don't know anything about it, but they are told. They, there's a hierarchy to everything. There's a hierarchy to the media, and they all get their news from the same source. So, um, yeah, yeah, I think there's an evil empire trying to take over the planet, and, and I don't think that they're aliens. They're human beings. Um, and, and what we need to do now is... If you're a person who's experiencing something and you're you're being attacked, you're being gang stalked, total strangers are saying things to you in the grocery store, you don't know them. You're you're you know, being woken up in the middle of the night with electric shocks, strange sensations, or you suspect that there's strange you're feeling strange sensations or having strange impulses. You need to say something it's it's the time now for all of us to stand up and say say something to speak the truth and uh um i just uh i just hope that you all will um i just hope that you'll download this video and if anything happens to me that you you say something, and that that if if more of us stand up, if every single one of us stands up, and 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 says what we've been experiencing, whatever it is, if you're experiencing any any kind of weird thing at all, if you just stand up and, and say what you're experiencing, then then it's going to make it that much harder for these people to control things. Because I guarantee you, there's a very few number of them compared to us. I mean, I don't know how many people are victim to these experiments, but there are 7 billion people on this planet, and we know that the Chinese military, the Russian military, and the United States military has developed this technology. So, how many countries is this happening in? I don't know. I can't say. But I promise you, our numbers outnumber theirs. So, if you can't do anything at all, just at least say something to somebody. Even if it's just one person. Just say something. You can't can't keep this quiet any longer. It's, it's not even for us anymore. It's for the babies. It's for the children. Peace out.